Hey guys in this video we're going to be checking out the best women's smartwatch you can buy right now. I made this list based on my personal opinion and hours of research. I've listed them based on features types of protection and price. I've included options for every type of consumer so whether you're looking for an smartwatch for yourself or your beloved one. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned be sure to check the links in the description below. So let's get started with the video. At our list number 5. Michael Kors Access Sophie Touchscreen Smartwatch. The original Michael Kors Sophie smartwatch is a little long in the tooth, so for 2019 the company gave it an update with a suite of new features. It's still a dressy, blingy full-screen smartwatch, with a nice slim pavé bezel and 41mm case in a range of finishes. However for 2019, that case is now waterproof to 3 ATM, while MK has also added a heart rate monitor and NFC for Google Pay. It still looks good on the wrist and comes with those added extras that do make it more useful day to day. It's better suited to casual gym goers rather than hardcore sports fans, but if you've been looking for a fashion-focused smartwatch that offers a nice balance between design and features, there's still a whole lot to like about the Access Sophie heart rate. At number 4. Fossil Gen 5 Juliana Stainless Steel Touchscreen Smartwatch. If you were a fan of the Gen 4 smartwatches from Fossil but hoped for improvements, the moment has arrived. The Gen 5 smartwatches, including the gorgeous Juliana, come with a new stylish design, more RAM, and an external speaker. It also does everything you need it to do, activity and heart rate tracking, 3 ATM water resistance, Google Pay, Google Assistant, GPS, and notifications. The new Snapdragon Wear 3100 is finally here, too, which helps with battery life. If you were hoping for a major upgrade, you might be disappointed, the Juliana has an estimated 24 plus hours of life, which isn't a huge improvement from the previous generation. However, thanks to the new processor and battery saving modes, you can get more usage between charges. Extended mode turns off non-essential features, like the always on display, speaker, Wi-Fi, and touch to wake. Location and NFC are set to on demand, so those radios are only turned on when apps are using them. Time only mode gives you a few extra hours when the battery is low by functioning as a watch only. In short, if you plan on taking full advantage of all of the features the Gen 5 offers, you'll need to charge it daily. Number 3. Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. Look, we're not saying women can only wear rose gold watches, but the 40mm Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 in rose gold finish is really rather nice. The Watch Active 2 is not Samsung's top-end smartwatch, but we actually think this is the nicer Samsung smartwatch to wear. The Active 2 is available in 40mm and 44mm sizes, though even the larger option doesn't look hulking on a slim wrist. Both feature lovely AMOLED screens, a waterproof design and pretty much every feature you could think of in Tizen. Aside from being let down on apps, this could be a neat choice for Android owners who aren't convinced by Wear OS. Notifications, solid fitness and sports tracking and thoughtful design all help the Galaxy Watch to stand out in a sea of smartwatches. While this one doesn't have the same physical rotating bezel you get on the pricier Galaxy Watch, it does now have a touch-sensitive one, which works well. Battery life has been beefed up from the first active and Samsung is promising to add features in the future including ECG and fall detection modes. If you want to go sportier, there's also an Under Armour edition that offers a more gym-friendly watch band and some extra watch faces. For our money, the Active 2 is our current Samsung fave and we think you'll like it too. Number 2. Fitbit Versa 2. After a rocky start with the Ionic, Fitbit's venture into smartwatches is now looking much stronger with the Versa 2. Its third smartwatch isn't just better looking, it's smaller too, making it more suited for women. This was a major problem with the Ionic, which was too large for many wrists and employed a very angular, arguably ugly design. The Versa 2 runs on the same software as the Ionic, meaning you'll have access to the App Store and catalog of watch faces, but in a smaller package. There's a vibrant 300x300 300 300 pixel resolution AMOLED display topping out at 1000 nits, and with 50 meters water resistance it can be taken swimming. 
Plus Fitbit's female health tracking, which is open to all users of the app, can actually be viewed on-screen on the Versa. Where it differs from the Ionic feature-wise is the lack of built-in GPS. You'll still be able to track GPS, but it'll need to be paired with your phone to do so. You can still load on tracks and play offline playlists from Deezer and Pandora, so it's still a pretty good independent workout companion. Unlike the first Versa, Fitbit Pay now comes on all models. The big new feature is Amazon Alexa, which brings the smart assistant to a Fitbit watch for the first time. There's no speaker, so you'll only get text-based responses, but it's certainly nice to see Fitbit offer a Siri and Google Assistant alternative. Take note, there's also the Fitbit Versa Lite Edition, which cuts music support and a couple of other features, but maintains the same design, for a cheaper price. Number 1. Apple Watch Series 5. The Apple Watch is our current top pick of smartwatches. Now in its fifth iteration, it's still probably the best full-blooded smartwatch for iPhone-owning women. Unlike the Series 4, we don't get a radical design overhaul, with Apple sticking to the same 40mm and 44mm sizes. What you do get is something we've been craving for since the first watch and that's an always-on display. Along with aluminum and stainless steel looks, Apple has brought back the ceramic option and is now offering a titanium watch too. Those models inevitably push the price up, though. As a fitness tracker and health device, you're getting more of the same here like a swim-proof design, built-in GPS and LTE for making calls and streaming music when you're away from your phone. ECG is there to offer serious heart health monitoring, too. With the arrival of Watch OS 6, you're also getting new features like an onboard app store and new apps that are designed for monitoring hearing health and menstrual cycles. Though it looks nothing like a traditional wristwatch, the Apple Watch is still the most flawlessly finished smartwatch we've seen and can look quite chic nestled on a wrist stacked with bracelets, and luckily there's a huge market of Apple Watch straps to choose from. If you don't want to spend big, Apple is offering the Series 3 for $199, which has a lot of the same core features as the Series 5, but for considerably less cash. Did you find anything to pass your preferences if you did then click the link in the description box to catch these items at our best offer. Let us know if you have a product in mind that you'd like to see in our next video. Write your comments and suggestions and a research team will work their best to give you a fair product review. Stay updated with our latest happenings by subscribe and tapping the bell icon.